Hello and welcome to the SharePoint 2016 and user training. My name is Dipti Chhatrapati and I am senior SharePoint consultant. You can find me on my blog insightturn.com or follow me on Twitter at beats84. In this model, I will explain how to become familiar with SharePoint 2016. SharePoint 2016 is a collaboration tool at its heart. Its primary goal is to make it easy for users to find and share information and there are many features built into SharePoint to facilitate this. SharePoint's library system feature can provide a superior alternative to the traditional file server. SharePoint list can be an easy to design and easy to use alternative to sharing spreadsheet files or more formal database tables. Both lists and libraries can be customized and extended to provide enhanced appearances and functionalities such as calendars and discussion boards or the name of the world. All of this collaboration can be done through a browser interface and in some cases through a integration with the Microsoft Office applications. And after completing this model, you will be able to know the versions of SharePoint, SharePoint site hierarchy, theme site layout and navigation within the theme site. SharePoint 2016 is available in two on-premises versions. This course will focus on the on-premise versions of SharePoint, but the concepts are also applicable to SharePoint Online as well. The on-premise versions of SharePoint 2016 are standard and enterprise. The differences between the two versions are based on the features they offer. Standard offers the core features of SharePoint, while enterprise has additional features added than what comes with standard. For on-premises, intranet sites are licensed using a server or client access license model. SharePoint Server 2016 is required for each running instance of the software and a client access licenses are required for each person or device accessing a SharePoint server. The standard license delivers the core capabilities of SharePoint such as sites, which is a single infrastructure for all your business websites, communities, that's an integrated collaboration platform, content that facilitates enterprise content management and search as people and expertise search, visual previews, visual best bets, etc. And on the other side, the enterprise license delivers the full capabilities of SharePoint such as sites, communities, content and standard search features plus entity extraction, video search, item recommendation, etc. Additionally, enterprise version contain features like business solution that includes access services and infopath services and business intelligence for everyone that includes power view, performance point services, Excel services and visual services. The scope of this course is for the end user and most of the features that fall within the scope come with the standard version of SharePoint 2016. You can see the full list of features in useful link section at the end of this slide. Now, let's have a look on team site layout. SharePoint sites are part of a hierarchy that is grouped in a site collection. There is always one site that is the root site of the site collection, but below that site can be many child sites. List and libraries can be created within each site in the site collection. The site collection defines the basic storage as well as the administration and permissions. This diagram illustrates a conceptual view of how sites might be organized in a site collection. Note that inside run is a root site within the site collection and other sites are child sites under the root site and you can create number of child sites as you require. In later modules in this course, you will explore the basic permissions and how they are applied to each site within the site collection as well as the each list and library. Next, I will show you how to navigate around the site. Navigation is a crucial part of using and managing SharePoint. This, this demo will walk you through navigating to your team site, navigating using the top link bar, navigating back to the parent site, navigating using the quick launch menu and navigating using the settings menu. So here I am on my machine where I have access of SharePoint sites and I will launch Internet Explorer and type the address of my site HTTP colon msns.2016 colon triple three double three named Insight Run Root Site which has one child site called Subsite A. The home page of your SharePoint team site should look similar as you see here on this page. You can navigate using the top link bar. The site you are located in can be verified by the title which is Insight Run Root Site in my case. Now click the child subsite A link in the site's top link bar to navigate to the home page of the child site. Here, the links in the top link bar are not necessarily child sites. They can be links that have been manually created and that navigate to pages within the root site. The default SharePoint behavior when adding a new child site to 
parent site is to add a link to the top link bar of the parent site. Also look here how the title of the child site is shown. Sometimes it can be hard to tell that you are on a different site. In this walkthrough, both sites home pages and quick launch menus are based on the same theme site templates and neither have had any customizations performed on them. The only visual differences at this point are the title child subsite A and inside run root site and child subsite A has no link of any child sites because there are no child sites created. In the later part of this course, you will learn how to modify the content of the pages such as the home page. You will also be adding content to the site that will automatically change the quick launch menu. Now let's navigate back to the parent site. Use the back button of your browser to navigate back to the parent site. In a later part of this course, you will learn how to configure child sites to use the same top link bar as their parent site as well as how to add custom links. Now let's navigate using the quick launch menu. Select the documents inside the quick launch menu located on the left side of the page. Navigate back to the home page of the sites by clicking the home link within the quick launch launch menu. In the later part of this course, you will learn how to create lists and libraries as well as other items that will automatically add links to the quick launch menu. You will also explore how to customize the quick launch menu manually. Finally, time to navigate using the settings menu. Click the settings menu icon located at the top right of your theme site. Take a few moments to read through the list of links in the settings menu. The items you see in the list reflect who you are logged into site as. The list uses the security trimming to show only items that you have permission to use. In a later part of this course, you will learn how to assign permissions as well. So in this module, we have learned about the different versions SharePoint offers, about the basic hierarchy of a site collection, about the basic menus and toolbars in a team site, and how to navigate within the team site. I have also shared the useful links of SharePoint 2016 licensing overview and full list of SharePoint on-premises features across the standard and enterprise versions. You can download this slide from the description bar. So uh, that was all about the introduction on SharePoint. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next module of this training.